guys, if you want to see how I achieve this natural makeup look and how I do my natural makeup routine, then keep on watching. I start off by using my Neutrogena Gel Cream as a primer because I have dry to combination skin and it tends to hydrate my face throughout the day. To moisturize my lips, I'm using my Soap and Glory Lip Plumping Gloss. I then go in with my favorite Can't Stop Won't Stop foundation by NYX Cosmetics in the shade Mahogany. Shout out to Alyssa for this foundation because it has buildable coverage, is super lightweight on the skin and even though I have dry skin it still has a beautiful matte finish. Like it is amazing. apply that I make sure everywhere is blended out properly and I haven't missed any certain spots on my face. I'm now going in with one of my favorite concealers from NYX Cosmetics which is the HD Studio Concealer in the color Golden. I like to focus most of my concealer under my eyes for the brightening effect and use whatever is left on my sponge for my forehead, chin, cupid's bow and the bridge of my nose. Once I've placed the concealer under my eyes, I then go ahead with my beauty sponge and blend it out properly so I don't get any flashback and so it just looks seamless. Once I'm done spending about 10 years blending out my concealer, I then go in with a random setting powder I picked up from Primark and set my face. I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in NW50 as I prefer the powder contour look nowadays rather than the cream contour. I find that when I cream contour it just gets messy and I actually look so ridiculous. Then I'm going in with my no filter finishing powder from NYX in the color golden just because it makes it makes the look come together if you know what I mean like I don't know how to explain it but it just makes everything just look seamless and just beautiful. the darkest bronze shade in the elf cosmetics bronzer which is in the color warm just to bronze up my face and you know yeah just to, yeah you know what i mean <laughs> For blush, I go in with two different types of blush. First, I go in with the Bourgeois. Bourgeois? I'm sorry, guys. They're a French brand and I don't know how to pronounce it. I apologize. But I go in with their blush in the color Love Struck Rose.
and then I go in with my makeup revolution soap x eyeshadow palette and I pick the warmest pink shade they have um just to warm up my cheeks <laughs> I'm done I go back into my Mac Studio Fix and use that to contour my nose and that's kind of self-explanatory that's just how I contour my nose there's no specific cool way that I contour my nose if you know what I mean I try not to go too hard on my nose contour just because I don't like that harsh noticeable nose contour After all of that, I then go in with my Glam Glow Glow Setter Setting Spray just to set my entire face and this has to be hands down the best setting spray there is, honestly. I then go in and make sure there's no wet spots on my face. For highlight, I'm using my pure baked eyeshadow in the color bronze from New Look. I put that on my cupid's bow, the tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, my eyebrow bone, and the highest points of my cheeks. So my camera decided to shut off halfway through the end, you guys. But yeah, once I'm done highlighting, I then have another spritz of setting spray, add some mascara, add more gloss, and I'm good to go. That's the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and like the makeup look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also leave me any comments down below if you wish. Check out my socials if you wish. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.